Hey, good morning. It's Cleidra, and I am here at the Hot Chocolate 15K 5K Run. I'm doing the 5K, and I wanted to share something with you all that has happened to me two days back to back. Now, I registered for this race alone, and I'm sharing this because a lot of you talk to me about how you don't want to work out alone, you need a partner, you need support. And what I want to offer to you are two examples from my life of how when you are connected to what you're supposed to be doing, you may go alone, but something supernatural, I call it God, will show up and you will not stay alone. So yesterday, I was at the um, expo to try to register and cars, I mean, packed bumper to bumper. And everyone was focused on finding their parking spot. I was focused on speaking to the man with the gun. <laughs> you know, growing up, my dad was always like, speak to the guy with the gun that you can see. And so when I spoke to the security officer, he said, you know what, hold on a minute. I'm going to move these cones so you can park right here. And that spot was literally next to the stairs to go into the Georgia World Congress Center. I ended up not having to walk that far alone. So here I am this morning, again, at this race, supposedly alone. There are over 10,000 people. I'm not alone. But I'm making a point. Again, I said good morning to one of the security officers, and I'm here in the media lot. So this isn't about me. I want you to see through the examples that I'm providing for you that when you are aligned with what you are supposed to do, there is a supernatural power that will show up and move things and people out of your way blocking you. So um, if you are having anxiety to get in a race uh, alone, I hope that these examples serve something for you. You know, now granted, I've had a lifetime of doing things um, alone. I'm an only child. And I remember as a kid, my dad would say, you know, go ahead and just look back. I'll be here. And, um, you know, I knew my daddy would, would be there if I looked over my shoulder. And as I got older, he said, you know, the day is going to come when you're going to look over your shoulder and daddy's not going to be there. Oh, I hope I don't get emotional. My dad's still alive, thank God. But he's not here in Atlanta with me. But he's like, look over your shoulder and God is there. Oh, I am getting emotional. So I say this to you all because I hear your stories. I know your story. I've been your story. My first race was at 246 pounds. And so I know. And it's okay to have anxiety, but it's not okay to sit on the sidelines of your life. Because I promise you, there will be someone to meet you, to move the cones out of the way, and to put you in the media lot. So I'm going to go. Have a great day.